Hello, today we're going to be talking about color and shade matching in dentistry. There's several takeaway lessons today. The first is not to think of colors individually. Rather, I'd like you to think of color as occurring interactively. In other words, if you're going to visualize color, try to think of color as occurring in a circle. And just as important, it's important to understand what you think color is, you need to know what the opposite is. In other words, when white should be black and when black should be white. Because color is such an integral part, and if the color is off, a patient could notice it and be very unhappy. So let's take a look at this case. This patient walked in and asked me to comment about this new tooth number eight. And, you know, understanding the language of color, we could we can identify that the value is a little high on this and the chroma may be very low. But when we speak to the patient, the dialogue goes something like this. Well, you know, it's really hard to tell. This tooth does look a little off, you know, but it's sandwiched between two different darker teeth. And so that is kind of confusing our eye. But I'm sure once the other teeth are done that you'll be quite satisfied with the result. Followed by a long pregnant pause. And takeaway lesson number three. The patient looked at me and said, you know, you're just like my other dentist. You're not listening to me, nor have you made any attempt. I want this tooth to look like my other front tooth. So the lesson is, is that patients are really aware of what they see and what they want. And we really need to listen to them and make sure we understand. You know, patients are a lot more savvy at seeing things that we believe. Uh, for example, in a survey of patients with one metal ceramic restoration in their mouth, over 80% of them could recognize the color difference between the restoration and their teeth.